I'm Bria, and this is my beautiful girlfriend, Miranda. And today we are filming a video about my upcoming album. So I am so excited. This is my fourth album, my third individual album. It's uh, um, a lot of emotions for me to release an album that is about the hardest time of my life um, and also try to find the joy in it. I would say 2023 was the hardest year of my life. This was one of the better things that came from 2023 besides you. <laughs> you are an absolute incredible gift and I don't know how I would have gotten through 2023 without you. I just burped in that like romantic <laughs> moment. <laughs> did you hear me burp? Okay, yeah. So I thought it'd be really fun because you've heard these songs so many times for you to guess these songs then I could say like a little bit about them. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you would know these songs if you heard them? Some of them. Okay. Yes. Because, yeah. I'm excited to see what I know and what I don't. I'm excited too. Angel? Angel? No. Yeah. You can me up. You're my secular angel. Your spirit can be seen. You're so, what's the backstory for that song, baby? It's about me. It's about you. <laughs> I was sitting on a couch with my mom and I was like trying to explain how incredible this woman is. And I was like, you know, she's like my angel, but I'm not religious. So she's like my secular angel. And I was like, oh, I got to write that song. So I jumped up from the couch and she was there with my mom. Mm -hmm. And I went to the grand piano and I just sat down and I wrote this song. I was like, you literally came into my life to like protect me. And I feel like that song really embodies you. It's so cool to hear like a song that I was sitting there as you were writing it mm -hmm. on a couch and mm -hmm. now it's being released tomorrow. And now it's being released? Yeah. Oh my god, the song I wrote about you is being released tomorrow. Yeah. Have you ever had someone write a song about you? No. No. They love you. They love you too much. <laughs> Who's next year with today? <gasps> so far! <laughs> so, let's get to the chorus. Just because I listened to this one like thousands of times. <laughs> So I wrote that song, um, actually, so I was working with a producer and he was like, you're a really good songwriter. I would love to produce a song with you. Let me, I'm, I love pop. I'm gonna create a track and I want you to create a song around it. So he created this track and I was in studio with him and I went to his little piano and I popped out this melody pretty quickly. And he was like, that's a bop. Mm -hmm. Let's make that song. And then we, we released the music video, right? For next year was today. Um, and a lot of people don't know this, but it was made completely with AI. It's not real footage. I know people are like, that looks like you shot it. No, it's those aren't real people. It's all AI. Isn't that insane? That's crazy. And it looks so and it real. it turned out so good. I think it turned out really good. I was like so depressed when I wrote that song. I really hope in one year from today, I'll be really proud of the person that I am because right now I don't feel that way about myself. Keep showing you every day. You are amazing at doing that. It's me. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I know it, but I don't know the name. You got it, baby. Remember the time when I know you it. pictured your life, you were five, and you thought you would be with the prince. So yes, baby, you got it. Yeah, ready? Because no matter what, even when things suck, there is still a positive, right? It's it's how we perceive things because everything bad has a positive side to it. So even when things hurt, they're still good, so. Crazy. 
craziest thing about this song what? is that the lyrics say, um, I'm finding ecstasy. My ex is in my past. I'm moving so fast. Like, I'm finding ecstasy. Mm -hmm. I wrote this song way before Chrissy and I broke up. I did not know that. Originally, this album was going to be an album that I was going to put out with Chrissy. Yeah. And the album was going to be called Wonder. It was all about like the new aspect of our life because we opened up our life to polyamory and we had all of these new relationships and we thought that we were really figuring out life and the wonders of life. So originally I had written a song called Wonder about Chrissy, how much I loved her. And um, that was going to be the name of the album. And um, so we had gone to the studio and recorded these songs and these vocals, Chrissy and I. So I actually, once Chrissy and I broke up, I had the, a huge body of work that had Chrissy's vocals in it. And so I had to go back and re-record her vocals, but also change some of the lyrics to some of the songs. I scrapped a bunch of songs and I rewrote a bunch of songs. It was a big process <laughs> to make this album. And now the album is called Unconditional. When I give my love to somebody that I truly feel that it's unconditional. And I, I will always, I will always love Chrissy. Yeah. No matter what. And I will do anything if she ever needed anything. Because I love her. Um, and I will always love her. That's why I'm releasing the album on the day that she proposed to me. And hopefully people don't think that's weird. Hopefully they can see the, like, the beautiful symbolism in it. Because that's what I'm choosing to do. Also, I want to explain that the cover of the album is me in front of a tree. And if you zoom in close, you'll see the words, The Giving Tree, um, which was my favorite childhood book. And that is what I'm trying to do as I'm trying to emulate the cover of the original cartoon version, which is there's an apple in the original um, cover of The Giving Tree. And I feel like I really gave everything I could until there's nothing left, which is what the book is about. So this song, I Wasn't Ready, the irony of Chrissy and I's separation is she told me that she would never break up with me, that it would have to come from me. So if it had to come from me, I sure as hell wasn't ever gonna be ready, um, I thought. And then, I guess the pain got too hard. <coughs> I'm really proud of that music video. Mm -hmm. That one made me cry. No. Baby. It made everyone cry. <laughs> it's sad. It's so sad. It's but so, so sad. good at the same time. Thank you. My wedding day, November 13th, 2018, was the best day of my life. And maybe it always will be. Or maybe some other day in my future will top it, but. What's the difference? I don't think I've heard the edited version. You never heard the track? Mm -mm. Wow. What do you think? I like it. When we opened up Polyamory, we were dating, Chrissy and I were dating three different women. And being a woman, we all struggle with body issues. And I wrote this song with the concept of whatever it is that, that is that insecurity within us. It's like those negative thoughts control us. And that was like, that was the reason why I wrote it. There's a place that's meant for me. It took such a little time to see. You're the place, you're the place. Because you heal, and that's what you do.
Why did I write that song, baby? I don't know. You never told me. Really? I wrote it for Alana. I knew that part. What? What is it? Called? I lie too much? No way. You know what? Am I enough? I wanna know. Am I enough? Yeah. <laughs> we always feel like we're too much or we're not enough, and the right people in your life will will stay because they love you for who you are. Not because of your hard times or your great times, but because of who you are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nothing you know, this song makes me angry. Why? I don't know. No. I mean, I do. Yeah. When you make a vow to someone, you're saying, I want to be with you forever. And obviously, like, relationships don't last forever. I mean, some don't. And I kept wanting to hear I can give you forever. Two, loving two. Yes, baby! <laughs> Loving too because I was in love with two people. You have a really big heart. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Really good loving heart. I'm just gonna hold it. Do you want the heart? You want my heart? You want my heart? You want to hold my heart? <laughs> That's kind of like about the unconditional love. There's no strings attached to my love. Like, if you ever need me, anytime, any place, any day, I will be there. And that's how I feel. Is that a weird way to like perceive love? Like, would you be the same? Yes. I truly believe that. No matter what. No matter what. Anybody, if they ever reached out. Same. I'd be right there. I love your heart. I love your heart. They're very similar. Yeah. I think that's why our hearts love each other so much, just because they are so similar. I hope that all the people that I have loved know that, that I will always be there for them, no matter what. I think they can feel it. You think so? Yeah. Good. All right, last one, baby. Okay. I step outside, lonesome on a Monday with my cold brew. person that you want to come home to you know whatever whoever whatever it is like you just want to come home to that happiness that you know the warm place in your heart and um for me that's you yeah well there you go that was my album that was my that was my pain my joy my all my emotions and um you know there's one emotion that is not in that album anger yeah how did you know because you're not an angry person it's hard for you to um, be angry. Like, yes, maybe for like five seconds, <laughs> but never, I've never seen you angry for longer than like five seconds. <laughs> I can't, can't say the angry. same, I can't say the same about no. you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I wish I had more anger because I think it'd be healthier for me. So I just feel like a lot of sad. Yeah. What you would say is sad, sad. Sad, sad. I feel like sad, sad. Sad, sad. <laughs> what is it? 
The best partner. You're the best partner. Ever. Ever. Hands down. Hands? Down. Down. <laughs> down. I'm so proud of you for the album you made. Thank you. And I'm so excited for it to be released tomorrow. Tomorrow! Thank you so much for believing in me and supporting me. I'm like, I've, I've often been like worried, like, how is it to have a partner who's grieving the loss of another partner? It, it has to be hard for you. It's not, I mean, yes, it's hard to see you sad, sad, sad. <laughs> but I want to be who you come to about sad things. I want to be that person, that shoulder to cry on. Your shoulders seen a lot of my tears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I want to change it for the world. I don't know how I found you and how I got so lucky. Is this like this has to be weird though, because like people probably think that I just like jump ship from one person to another, and like that's what you're supposed to do as a lesbian. So I'm just like following <laughs> the protocol. But also, I just I found a really amazing person who makes my heart happy and who loves me the way that I love and I'm just so grateful wow anyways you're the cutest thing ever you're so pure <laughs> <laughs> so are you you're pure you're the pure yes. pure cocaine mm. sniff me baby I um I'm so excited for y'all to get this album and um i hope you'll support my music and the endeavors moving forward and support us making videos and all the other things that you know i just i just want to keep creating i think that'll make me happy i have an album so go get the album and 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 share it please share it with people that you think will enjoy this album or we're going through a breakup and um as always i will see you sometime soon new catchphrase love unconditionally. No, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Oh. Burp, burp. Burp, burp. <laughs>